Hello guys, welcome to Code Studio. In this session, we will discuss about polynomial linear regression model. So, till now, uh, we have learned simple linear and multiple linear regression models in our previous sessions, right? If anyone want, uh, th they can check machine learning tutorial playlist for these models, okay? So basically, simple or multiple linear regression model can be implemented when input data points or, or observations are uh, lying close to straight line. I mean, if the points are like this, okay? And when we apply a simple or a multiple linear regression model on these points, okay, so basically it will create a one straight line called, you know, best fit line, the like in this blue line, okay. And based on this blue line, the coefficient and intercept variables will be derived, okay, which can be used to, uh, to predict our future values, okay. But if our observation points are like this, okay, which is in a paraboloid shape, okay, which are not in a straight line, in that case, if we implement a multiple linear regression model on these points, okay, it draws a best fit line on these points, which will be looks like, you know, this, okay, this blue line. And you see this uh, best fit line, you know, does not co covers all these points. I mean, uh, point one, uh, this three, four, six, these points are very far to, you know, this uh, best fit line. And this cause, you know, the model uh, underfitting and may not predict a val values. So for, for this kind of observation, we need to use a, another algorithm. We call it as a polynomial algorithm, okay? In polynomial algorithm, basically it tries to create a paraboloid best fit line, okay? Instead of a straight line by creating a, a polynomial features based on a given independent features, okay? The equation for polynomial regression is, uh, is like, you know, the y is equals to m1 x uh, plus m2 x x to the power 2 and then plus m3 x to the power 3 uh, till mn x to the power n plus c, okay? Where, uh, you know, m1, m2, these are the slopes and, you know, x will be your independent variable. Now here is another question marker that is why we call it as a linear, whereas, you know, the output variable y is not linear with the input variable called x, x to the power 2, x to the power 3, right? So basically, we call any model as a linear when its output is, you know, uh, linear with its coefficients, okay, m1, m2, m3, but not with its, uh, you know, uh, x values or independent features. And the polynomial model uh, can be used to predict the, you know, growth, uh, growth rate of uh, tissues, and progression of, you know, disease epidemics, likes, etc. So guys, that is the intuition of polynomial linear regression. Now we will try to write a machine learning program and we'll try to implement the polynomial, uh, polynomial linear regression model on the given data set. Okay, so let us jump into the Jupyter notebook. So this is my uh, Jupyter notebook and I have a data set called position salaries. Okay, uh, let me open the Python cell. Let me create a data frame to read that uh, CSV file. Okay, first of all, I have to import the pandas. Now create a data frame, pt dot read csv in bracket dot csv. So let me see what is the data it has. Okay, so basically it has uh, two independent features, position and level, and one is your dependent uh, label. Okay, so salary. So basically it is very small data set having you know ten rows it seems and three columns. Okay. And I don't see any missing values as well. I can see the categorical feature is this. Uh, but also I see the level and the position seems to be alike, right? The, these are the position and these are the grades, it seems, right? If I remove this, then also it will work because the level is uh, it's just like alias to the position, okay? So in data pre-processing activity, first step would be, you know, finding the missing values. So in our given data, we do not have any missing values, okay? And if you wanted to find that missing value, so we basically we have a command called is null method then sum. So we don't see any missing values for these features. Now next step would be you know handling the categorical features. Okay, the position is the uh, the one feature which is having a categorical values. Okay, so this uh, this has to be converted by applying a encoding technique. But as I mentioned, uh, the level uh, the curve feature is also you know behaving as the same as position. So basically, I do not need this position feature anymore. Okay. It means I don't need to, you know, apply our encoding technique to convert these categorical features. Okay. Now I'll split this data set into the X and Y variables. Okay. To create a X feature, basically I can use a method called drop. Okay. So df the drop. Now I have to remove these two feature, these two columns. Okay. Position and salary. salary 
at axis level of 1 that is columns okay now let me run this okay now let me create a y value okay so now i have split these uh, data set into x and y variables the next step in generally we'll have to split this uh, data set into you know train and test set but in our case uh, we have very less number of rows right only 10 rows so uh, we will not split this into you know train and test set okay we'll try to fit this uh, whole x variable to train the model okay before implementing a model let me draw these points on a graph okay so using matplotlib here is a so we can draw so here is the uh, library and this is the class okay so let me plot a scatter plot x y color is equals to red and these are the labels okay let me run this okay so basically you can see right these are the observation points okay it seems to be the parabolite right now what we will do we will try to you know uh, implement a linear regression model on these observations and we'll see so how does you know the best fit line draws so implement a linear regression model okay so we need to use a library a library called sklearn and the class would be linear regression so here is the syntax so sklearn library okay and this is the linear regression uh, class now let me create a linear regression object okay now train to this model we have to use method called fit okay so x and y so my model has been trained now now let me draw a plot to and draw the that best fit line okay so i'll use the same code okay this is my graph for actual observations now we'll try to draw a best fit line okay so for that for line i'll take a method called plot okay now instead of my y actuals i'll go with you know the predicted okay for to get the predicted values what i'll have to do i'll have to use the model dot predict then your input x okay now i'll change the color to blue for the best fit line let us see okay so for a given uh, data set or for a given data observation so the model will uh, uh, draw this best fit line okay so point like these 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 or these right these are not uh, very close to this blue point and because of this you know that this model will be underfitted okay and uh, it will not give a good accuracy now to overcome this we have to you know apply a polynomial uh, linear regression model okay so now to apply a polynomial regression uh, model uh, first of all we have to apply uh, you know the polynomial uh, transformation on the given variable that is a, a input feature and we have to create a polynomial uh, features for that okay now to create a polynomial features on a, a given input variable we have to import a library called you know sklearn learn dot preprocessing okay and this will be the class that is a polynomial features okay now let me create an object of polynomial uh, features now using fit a uh, fit transform i can create a polynomial features code okay fit transform okay now let me see see now we have a polynomial features okay so this is my actual uh, the independent variable or feature 1 2 3 4 till 10 okay now by default it will you know give it add uh, the two degrees i mean it will create a two feature so the second feature uh, you know this feature have you know the squared value okay so x to the power two i would say if you wanted to increase the degree of this uh, feature so you need to have a argument called degree and the pass the value you know to two three four like that okay so those many features with you know are the those powers or degrees will be applied and then it will create a polynomial feature for the for those many degrees okay we will do that uh, but later so first of all we'll try to you know uh, draw points uh, for these features by applying a polynomial uh, model okay 
So to implement a polynomial regression model, we do not need to use any other, you know, the class. The same linear regression, uh, the algorithm only we have to, I mean, the, this class only have to use, okay. But instead of x as an input variable, okay, what we will do, we will pass a polynomial features. Okay, now again, I'll train this model with the new features called polynomial features, okay. So now my model has been trained now. Now let me draw these uh, you know observations and these uh, predictions on my uh, you know graph so i'll use the same code okay instead of you know the x now i'll have to use the polynomial feature okay now you can see the you know my best blue blue line okay the fit line is curved now Okay, still some of the points seems to be very far from this uh, blue line, right? Like this point, these points. Now to fit this blue line very close to these observations, okay, we need to increase the degrees. Okay, I mean we need to increase the new features with the uh, you know uh, the with the x powers. So let us see how to achieve that. So, so this is my class. So it is a degree. So by default it has two. Now let me create three okay now let me run this so now you can see it's x to the power three so basically now it will create a three features okay this is my first one this is the second one this is the third one okay the x x to the power two x to the power three okay now let me run this again let me train this model let me draw this okay now it is very close i guess now let me increase one more degree okay yeah it seems to be best i guess okay so that's all guys okay so if you find you know the observations like this okay and if you wanted to implement the polynomial regression then you have to you know create a, a polynomial features for a given uh, input variables and the, you know implement the linear regression model on those polynomial features then you'll get the uh, you know the paraboloid best fit line or curvature best fit line now let us try to predict the uh, predict the value for 11 okay level 11 okay so here is a command so this is my model dot predict i'm creating to you know polynomial feature for level 11 okay so let's see what could be the predicted salary okay this will be my predicted salary for 11 a level 11 okay or position 11 i would say so that's all for today's session guys so if you like my video please click on uh, like button and subscribe my channel thank you so much